what's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers i'm barbas so i'm a little bit filthy because i just finished in the oil change on the civic over there um this is going to be a test to see if i can clear coat some rust-oleum this is the gloss leather brown basically i'm going to attempt to uh, clear coat this uh, skirt i didn't have a lot in here so what I did is I sprayed from here on this way and on this side there's still some red but it's fine if this does work I will sand this whole thing and I will use this clear coat to uh, clear coat my Rustoleum paint job let me show you guys the clear coat that I'm gonna be using it's gonna be this right here with some of this some activator and basically I've tried this before and every single time that I've tried it it always wrinkles up it always has some kind of a reaction the only time that it doesn't do that is when I actually use the clear from the can but in my case I don't want to use the clear from the can I want to use it on a gun so basically I will attempt this and what I'm gonna do my plan since I've done this before and it always wrinkles up my plan is to just do the first coat and just mist it and let it dry for at least half an hour and then come back and mist it again that way there isn't that much of a I would say like a compound on there to start to like strip and have a reaction so hopefully this works so let's get started on this so I went ahead and I taped this on here and basically I'm gonna attempt this um, this is the gun that I use on my uh, uh, stepdad's uh, pickup I went ahead and I cleaned it and there's still fluid in there and it looks like it's coming out pretty clear so hopefully we don't get any green coming out of it I scrubbed it as best as I could inside I let it soak so if this does work and the clear does work I will buy a new gun and I will order some more clear and hopefully this works I mean I've always had bad experiences with clear except for the can like I said but let's get started all right so I got the clear mixed up I mixed it four to one and now I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the gun and try to lay a really thin coat all right so I'm about to lay the first coat And that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna let it sit there for about half an hour and then I'm gonna come back and lay another one all right so I'm gonna go ahead and lay my second coat I am gonna lay this a lot thicker now All right, so check this out. Remember, this is a test, and this is outside where there's all kinds of particles landing on this. But look at this, this is actually working. No wrinkle, no crazy reaction. So basically I sprayed from the blue tape to the blue tape. I'm very surprised that this is actually working. I'm actually very excited because now I want to do that fender to see what it's going to look like. 
All right, so I'm so excited that this worked that I'm gonna go ahead and clear coat a fender that I painted yesterday. Um, I got it in here. Let me show you guys. This is just Rust-Oleum, this is out of a can. Those of you that don't know, see the reflection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to clear coat this to protect it because it's already pretty pretty damn shiny. All right, so I'm wiping this down just so I don't get any particles on here. Even though we're outside, sorta, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be little tiny particles. It's not a big deal. This is in a show car. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the gun over here and do the same thing. Missed it, wait a good 25, 20, 20 to 25 minutes and come back and lay a pretty thick coat followed by a third coat. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. It looks like everything's really tacky. I'm gonna lay my next coat right now. Alright, so it's a second coat and the fender had a reaction. It is pretty glossy. But look at the reaction. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, you guys can see it. This looks horrible. And this is the same thing that would always happen. And this is the reason why you can't really clear coat Rust Oleum unless if it's with a can of Rust Oleum. I have no clue why I had a reaction here. But it didn't on that other thing that I painted. Let's go take a look at that other piece. Oh yeah, this is dry already. This little spider right there. But this one did not have a reaction at all. It's super smooth. I don't know. Could it have been because this one was under the sun? And I guess it kind of baked it in between the coats a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, so it looks like... Like I'm going to have to sand that whole thing down again. But it's no big deal. We'll just redo it. And this time, I'm not gonna use the rattle can. I'm gonna spray it from a gun. All right, you guys. 
so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and call this a video I'm gonna clean all this up get the compressor inside and let me see throw this guy under the Sun to dry oh yeah look at that this is but either way it ain't no big deal we'll continue our our project a different day so I'll catch you guys on my next episode till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later